So on this episode, I'm talking about how we need to monitor the people and family and friends we surround ourselves by. They have a bigger influence on who we are than we realize. Today, I just thought I'd explain one of the quotes that I put up recently on Instagram. And it was about just reminding everyone that the environment we find ourselves in or place ourselves in or surround ourselves by greatly determines our successes or our mindset. And the quote goes along the lines of that our environment is a greater factor in success in our lives than our genes or our DNA. And I want to really draw attention to it because it's important to recognize two things. One is that from a genetic point of view, we are not more predisposed to fail or succeed than anyone else. Genetically, it's not coded in. And so we can often find ourselves thinking, I'm just born this way. And and actually, often for many situations, we're not. It's more the environment we're placing ourselves into. And it's about the one that we constantly return to as well. Now, environment, what do I mean by environment? Well, this can be, you know, wherever you may live. It could be the, um, the friends you may have, or it could be the location you may be living in. Basically, anything that is something you spend time with on a consistent basis becomes the, a form of influence on you. And this influence can extend to how we see ourselves, how we see our aspirations, our choices, and therefore makes, well, informs our decisions. So, The idea is, and you may have heard a a quote or a phrase along the lines are, you are the culmination of the five people you surround yourself with. So taking that quote and you you put that, the idea about the environment, the people we surround ourselves by are the environment. And in that environment, that's who we become. That's how we develop our mindset and our aspirations. This is not just a kind of a, like on a normal kind of human level. This actually is scalable down to a, a cell or a cellular level. Um, stem cells, which are like blank cells waiting to be informed of what they're going to be, kind of muscle or blood or bone. Once they're placed in the environment, in the culture, they transform and the environment tells them what to become. So the environment tells them what to become, either a blood or a bone or muscle. And so it is with humans on that, as we are a living mass of cells, the same has to apply. That when when we're placed in an environment, we adopt the habits and mannerisms of what we find around us. So when it comes back to those phrases about surrounding yourself with the uh, people who help you aspire, I think it's really relevant. It's just really in the same way that we um, accept that we are like our parents in some form it's the same thing we need to also accept that the people we surround ourselves with are the ones we, who also set up our values and our beliefs and, and where we feel there are limits, where we can maybe reduce our aspirations slightly. So what do we do to kind of combat this? How do we kind of begin to change something or become aware of it? Now you can change in certain ways. It can be as simple as you know, reading more quotes which inspire you, reading books of, of people who succeeded and begin to open up the ceiling of where it has been to maybe aspire to new things or see things in a different perspective. The reverse of that is, or well not the reverse, but the other option you can try, I invite you to consider is to maybe look at your friendships or relationships around you and notice, maybe not so that you need to cut people out entirely, but it's about maybe putting some people more in the background and less in the foreground of your life. So their voices aren't so maybe dominant or so present in your life. Now this could be quite tricky. This could even be a family member. It could be even your mum or your dad, where actually they need to be told, you know, thank you for that. And actually I'll take on board what you're saying, but I'm not going to act on it. And maybe you need to background those kind of people, which can be quite a challenge. The sooner we can change this, the sooner we can begin to get a mindset that is actually more useful that takes us out of where we are and and inspires us to become more, to come fulfill who we are. We can do this by maybe changing who we spend time with, auditing what we're doing, 
and then introducing new elements which begin to feed and nurture our passion, our creativity, where we feel that actually the goals that once were maybe unrealistic or impossible, maybe are more achievable than ever before. So as ever, I hope you've got something to think about over the next few days, something to consider. Just order yourself. Who are you keeping close that maybe needs a bit of distance? Maybe you don't need to check in with your parent every day or every other day because maybe their voice is a little bit too critical of what you're trying to achieve and you need to distance yourself. Just consider what you can do. Bear in mind, this is not just a generalized idea. I'm bringing this all the way back to biology. Think of the stem cell, that blank template which is being surrounded by the environment which nurtures it and creates what it needs to be. And that's no different for us as a living cellular being. So audit your friends, audit the family, consider what I've just been saying and make some changes and see, see what you get from that, see what results you get. But other than that, have a fantastic day wherever you are and I'll catch you next time.